Students at Western Illinois University will be monitoring the threat of storms tonight. They have a new tool to help them do that. Yeah, professors say the new Doppler radar opens all kinds of new opportunities for the next generation of meteorologists. WGEM's Kara Birnat back from Macomb to explain. Kara. Dylan and Alexandra, this is the new Doppler radar, which sits on top of Memorial Hall. Right now, the radar reads up to 45 miles away, something professors say will give students the experience they need to keep you safe in future storms. I want to be, be there and help people try to save lives and make sure everyone can be safe. Getting out those like important um, like weather updates that people need like that's I want to be a part of that. Meteorology students at Western Illinois University are one step closer to achieving their dreams thanks to a new Doppler radar. Pretty much the same type of radar that the weather service would use, just a little bit smaller. The new tool that sits on top of Memorial Hall is replacing one that professors say is 30 plus years old. Meteorology professor Radina Finch says the new radar gives students an upper hand in the meteorology field. This represents learning opportunities for our students. They get to see the radar in action and we get to look at past storms and see what the radar does, how it works. This was showing the uh, strong line of storms that was coming through on Monday, last Monday, uh, when we had that big wind event that came through. Finch says WIU is the only university in the state to have this type of radar. She says it will give them a better read on severe weather, like storms and tornadoes. No matter where you go, it's always useful to have knowledge with it, but this here just gives us an upper hand as students compared to the other universities in the area. Some say it's the first step to getting where they eventually want to be. I think it'll definitely open up more opportunities with the National Weather Service because I will have that experience underneath my belt. You know, I'll be able to show them like, hey, I already know how to use this tool. Finch says the radar imagery will be available to the public online. She says she is working with the McDonough County Emergency Management Director so he can use it to prepare the county for severe weather. Kara Biernat, WGEM News. All right, Kara, thanks so much. A little more information as well. The $300,000 Doppler radar replaced one that was more than 30 years old. It was funded through donations, both from a late professor and businesses in the community, and they'll continue to raise funds to help maintain the radar.